All right, everyone, now it's time to talk about de-extinction. This is something that I actually support, and I am sort of cued into science. Like, I got the Science News page and a couple of others, and uh, I like discussing some things that aren't about politics, although there are socio-political ramifications to de-extinction, especially when a firm in one country develops something that can only potentially live in other climates. For instance, if you were to revive the woolly mammoth, you'd probably put them in Siberia, they'd live in Canada, if the United States engineered them, the only place in the United States they'd probably be able to roam around and actually survive would be Alaska. Talked about the mammoth in the sense that as a presumptively reasonably intelligent animal, I think that ethically speaking, de-extincting them would only be acceptable if you're making more than a few of them. And you, so they can like have a normal family sort of thing. And they're not necessarily going to behave exactly the same as woolly mammoths, uh, you know, a million years ago because they would be raised by actual elephants, which of course have diverged, you know, along their line. Uh, the dodo bird, though, is an interesting example. Full genomic sequence of the dodo has already been, uh, has been done. As well as other extinct species, like the auk, the uh, great auk was driven to extinction centuries ago by mankind, and uh, they're trying to bring that back as well. I think that basically all of the stuff from like the Ice Age period and up into the relatively modern period, Tasmanian tiger, that'd be a cool one. I think we should de-extinct them all. Bring back the dire wolf. Bring back the cave bear. Uh, the muscle the grizzlies out of their own territory. Basically an offshoot anyway. Uh, here's the thing about the dodo though. Apparently, dodo birds were delicious and uh, they're trying to de-extinct them. The last dodos died in the 1600s, so we're not talking particularly ancient history. Of the thing. It, it's, it's relatively closer to modernity than the gr giant ground sloth or something like that. But um, I support bringing them back, but if you do, you're gonna need a really concentrated conservationist effort in order to keep them de-extincted. Because outside of zoos, of course, where you know they're not being predated upon, people will attempt to predate upon them. And you just know that all of the food, all of the gourmet food aficionados, uh, Nicocado Avocado would be stuffing himself with uh, five or six dodos at a time at that point. Apparently, they basically just sat there and you could kick them in the head and then eat them. They were stupid, effectively. Uh, having no particular fear of predators on their uh, uh, various islands, uh, the dodos just sort of would sit there and uh, then you could eat them and they were rumored to be utterly delicious. And so they will go extinct again a second time if uh, the local hunters have their way. They're working with the nation of Meridius to try to uh, locate them there. There's also a separate species that's less interesting that they're trying to de-extinct at the same time that's uh, related to the dodo bird. I think that that lineage went extinct for a reason. <laughs> oh shit, humans and rats showed up and all of a sudden the birds were gone. Oh, they used to harvest them by the thousands because it was free food, it was delicious, and they're slow and stupid. I'm not sure that it's long-term going to be viable if we bring them back to perpetually guard them from people who'd say, hey, I can get a hundred pounds of free meat right now, and there's literally no effort involved in it. And by the way, the black market of dodo meat's gonna be a bitch. Uh, I think maybe it would be a good idea to, to have an international effort uh, cooperation going on to like create a dodo sanctuary and they can do it uh they're, they're currently they're trying to synthesize sperm and egg cells uh that would be commensurate with the dodo you get a near ancestor and implant it and effectively you get a dodo bird it would be unrecognizable from the original dodos i support it completely but again you've got numerous possible concerns I mean, if they make enough dodos so that they're no longer endangered, I'd probably try dodo meat myself. Yes, yeah, supposedly it's better than chicken. I wonder why they went extinct. It, it, just think, nobody ever tried to raise them in captivity and like farm the dodos. It's like back then conservation wasn't really a thing. So people didn't think about like rotary planting forests and then harvesting the wood on a sustainable basis, for example. And so uh, plant species go extinct too. It isn't, later you get plantation agriculture and stuff like that and you get like mass farming. But for some odd reason, nobody ever said, hey, enough, I grabbed 20, 30 dodos and uh, they fuck like rabbits probably. And people love them and uh, I can put them in a relatively similar climate and some reasonably warm place and uh, I'll have unlimited dodo meat and I'll never have to eat chicken again. Can you imagine if they had done that? 
We we might see like genetically modified dodos instead of having like the uh, giant breasted chicken that we have today. Again, they were supposedly fucking delicious. I don't know if they ate the great auk, or did they just kill him for some other reason? I can't remember that. I think they ate him. I don't know why you'd want to eat a penguin. That'd be some fucking fatty meat. You know, a lot of people trim the fat off the chicken when they cook it. You know, what would the fuck would be with a penguin? The dodos didn't have that problem. And it's all white meat. So, yeah. Please do de-extinct the dodo. Although the big one that I want to see come back is the saber-toothed tiger. I don't know. I'm just a fan of it. I know that they would never release them into captivity because people would be frightened. Because, you know, kind of intimidating and presumptively very dangerous. Probably worse than a tiger or a goddamn lion. I support the idea, although they'd only ever be on, you know, wildlife preserves or something. I guess you can feed them gazelle or something like that. But again, uh, the other thing that we have to consider, I know I'm being a little bit flippant with this video, a little bit of a rant. The other thing we need to consider is the conditions under which these species died in the first place. Humans were not responsible for all of them. With the dodo, though, we were. If humans were, in that case, almost singularly responsible for the extinction of a species that otherwise could have survived, at least in an insular environment, I think it is our responsibility to bring them back. If you're talking about species that died off because, you know, the Ice Age ended or a lake dried up or something like that, you can sort of take your pick. We can choose which of those that we bring back. I would like to see the saber-toothed tiger. I'd like to see a mastodon, too. I think those might be more viable than the uh, woolly mammoth, actually. And, of course, with gene editing, there's no reason specifically why when we get our shit figured out more with genetics that we couldn't de-extinct other species. We could quite literally create a T-Rex. It would be an expensive process. You'd need a large artificial womb to do so. It would become a little bit like the theme of Jurassic Park, I suppose, and people would start getting really nervous and you'd probably face protests and backlash, as well as international condemnation, should you try. Uh, and, and again, you'd have to make more than one of them, otherwise they'd have no way to communicate with each other, and they would have absolutely nothing to model their behavior after. The other thing is that we have a reasonably recent common ancestor of the dodo with similar behavioral characteristics that can be the surrogate. So the behavioral patterns would be at least reasonably similar. Hopefully they don't go extinct again as a result of this. With the woolly mammoth, elephants again, there would be a similarity, a reasonable overlap. With certain species, not so much. If you brought back a T-Rex or something like that, and I mean, again, you could effectively create synthetic genomes. We don't have this technology yet. We can already edit genes, but I mean a fully synthetic genome. You yeah, program by AI, you could probably program for just about anything that you would happen to want. I don't know that we should play God at that level, though. I think we should stick with the dodo for now. That's about all. Peace out.